Hey, welcome everybody. It's Mike and Denise. Welcome to our very first video of this long video series. It's gonna take place over the next five months. And we're gonna do one video every day, updating you on what we've done. And you can see right now, we are in downtown Raleigh. They're getting ready to have a parade over here. Let me just loop you around so you can see where we are. You can hear sirens, stuff going on down there. We're gonna walk away from all the noise because it's only gonna get louder here. Well, let's just walk down this way and we'll talk about what happened yesterday. I started off with a vacation day. <laughs> and yesterday was fr it was Friday, right? Yeah. End of the week. Okay, let's hold on a second. Let's let this go by. We're just going to be competing with this ambulance down there. Okay. So, we've had one complete day. This is like a recap of yesterday. Yesterday was Friday. Denise was, yeah, vacation day because... What, it was going to be... Pack and drive. And we forgot <laughs> lots of things. We realized that it's like right after you leave somewhere, when you're, once you're like five minutes down the road, you realize you forgot something, then an hour, then you forgot something else. And I forgot my retainer. So on and so on. Yeah, I forgot stuff for our safe deposit box. I forgot. didn't check for our passports for, until just oh. last night. Well, we have them, right? <laughs> yeah, we have them. Here. Okay, cause yeah, we are going out of the country during, on this, on this uh, time that we're doing. We're going out of the country. Yeah. And I almost forgot two gifts for my daughter. <laughs> our carpet that we rolled up and stuffed in the trailer and a, a suitcase I'm giving to my granddaughter. <laughs> but we got them. And let, also let, let us mention that if you've been following the channel, adigitalnomad.net, and we have a sister channel, aplantbased.org, because you'll see we're eating lots of plant-based foods. Um, we fill our cooler with plant-based foods, but more importantly, what I want to remind you of is that we're driving in a Tesla that I bought in 2017. It's almost 2023. It's almost paid off. Actually, it will be beginning of the next, like first quarter next year. But the problem is it has 220,000 miles on it. And we've been having mechanical issues and we had the air conditioning repaired recently. It took eight weeks to get it done. Didn't have the car. Finally got it back just before we left, which was, an, which was a miracle if you ask me. But it started to act up yesterday and that was another issue uh, right away. That's, that is not gonna be good if we have to have mechanical problems in these next five months. The air conditioner was making weird noises while we were supercharging, but we turned off the climate control on the interior and it, it didn't make those noises anymore. It felt like it stalled out at one point. It was quite strange. Yeah, but that's, it, it's a symptom of what was going on. Let's put it this way. I've owned this car for almost six years now. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And over 200,000 miles, I'm the really almost exclusively owning and driving the car. Well, oh. definitely owning, but driving. Almost five years. Yeah, ago. it never made any, not a peep for the first, I don't know, actually almost six years. Yeah, usually when you're supercharging, yeah. once you get to a certain charge rate, then the, the speed will slow down. Because it's cooling the battery yeah, pack. Yeah, the cooling system will slow down, but at this point, yesterday it was stopping, and then at one, one point it stalled out and then it restarted. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm very concerned about it. That's what I'm telling you guys. So what are the things? Well, we had to pull the trailer, which we don't have with us right now because we're doing our Raleigh Veg Fest. She's got a Wake Forest shirt on, but we're doing Raleigh this weekend, uh, tomorrow, and we're going to walk over where the car is right now. There's a, somebody trimming. Why don't we go down this way to avoid all that noise? So um, what else can we talk about? What happened yesterday? Uh, well, you made a separate video about the... Being yeah, we've run into that before when towing, it's really bad. And just just having to unhook in order to keep going and, and recharge the batteries is a big pain in the ass. But that was a worst case scenario, which we've encountered before at that same exact supercharger in South Hill, Virginia. South Hill, yeah. yeah. Other than that, things went pretty smoothly. It just took forever. Well, supercharging was weird yesterday at that one location where we got got spoken to by someone that wasn't happy. Yeah, and we another, that's a, check out the shorts on the, on the <laughs> apedigitalnomad.net uh, YouTube channel. But aside from this, it's day one, and we'll be here, you know, from early November, which is when we are now. What, what's the date if I can log this? November or something, 2020? We left on the 5th. Okay, our event's tomorrow, the 6th. So November, this is a recap of November 4th. And we will probably be going all the way through just about this time in April, early April, the first couple days of April. On the road the entire time, we're planning to go to Ecuador. But like I said, the biggest thing to remember is that we're driving an old car right now. And I'm hoping that it's in good mechanical shape, but 
we're things not break. It to Ecuador, <laughs> yeah, we're not. But we're, after this event, okay, we're gonna walk by Moore Square right now. Actually, we'll show you what Moore Square looks like. We are we got, we're gonna go um, uh, here tomorrow. Here, I'll push the button. Wait, wait. That over there is Moore Square. That's where our event's gonna be tomorrow. So we're gonna be pulling the trailer down here tomorrow morning early. I think I already planning I have to get up at like 3.30 in the morning and have the event. And then we, we keep heading south. We drive this trailer down to Florida and that's where we're gonna be. Although it's gonna be almost 80 degrees today here. So, and tomorrow. It's gonna be really, really nice weather. Here we, we can go now. Is there anything else to add for our first day's summary, living on the road? Are you looking forward to this thing? What, how are you? How are your feelings here at the very beginning? Uh, yeah, I'm back into the swing of things already. I, I know what to do and what not to do. And uh, I was happy that we got Chinese food yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you found some... Uh, yeah, it was really good. Check the uh, plantbaseddiet.org YouTube channel. I'll get it uh, launched soon. We got general so tofu. Yeah, <laughs> and rice I did. Broccoli. Just we parked here on the cobblestone street. And here's what the car looks like. If you haven't seen the car the cleanest you'll this is it. yeah it's dirty we drove through the mud i had to take the trailer drop the trailer off uh off road so anyway that is it for us on on day number one let us know about places we should go in florida we'll be in florida almost all winter long we want to see some new places um that's about it i mean we're we're just ready. I'm just glad it's already warmer. It's so much warmer. I feel better already just being down here, but I'm gonna feel even better when I get in Florida. All right, so be sure to like the channel if you don't already, share this with people. And each video will be titled the same. As you see this one, this, it'll have a different episode or a different uh, volume or whatever we call it, video number. Yeah. All right, we're Mike and Denise. Bye. Bye.